Aloha and welcome to another episode of Stay at Home Blues and Oranges brought to you by After School All Stars Hawaii. My name is Miss Angel and I am a program leader at Kalakaua All Stars. In today's episode, we will be learning how to paint on a hydro flask and we will be learning how to prep the painting surface for this as well as learning how to seal the paint so that it uh, doesn't materials you're going to need today are a hydro flask, painter's tape, paint brushes of various sizes which you can purchase at a craft store or at a Walmart. Uh, you're going to need various colors of acrylic paint. You're also going to need Mod Podge which you can purchase at Walmart as well. Two plastic cups filled with water. You're going to need newspapers, napkins, a plastic plate, and finally a flat surface for you to paint on. You can pause the video here while you gather your materials and I will see you in a bit. Welcome back and now that you've gathered your materials together, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to take your painter's tape and you're going to wrap it along the lip area of your hydro flask. Um, because you don't want to get any paint inside or around the area where you're supposed to drink. Then you're going to take a flat head brush like this and your Mod Podge and you are going to dip it and you're just going to paint it along the area that you so if you are painting your entire hydroplast like I am, you're going to paint the entire Okay, so you're going to set this aside to dry. It's very important that you clean this paintbrush that you just used because Mod Podge does harden and if you don't clean it right away, the bristles are going to harden and it's going to be very hard to take this off once it's dry. So just clean it right away. You clean it the same way you would with paint. set this aside we aren't going to use that again um, until the very end when we seal our paint um, you're going to take your brush and just clean it one more time and clear uh, in clean water and dry that again while we wait for the Mod Podge to dry you can go ahead and um, look at whatever designs you would like to paint onto your hydro flask. So you can pause the video here and search up any designs you would like so that you can plan out what colors you need to use and which paint brushes you need to use. And I will see you in a minute. Welcome back guys. If your hydro flask is dry and you can tell that when you're touching it, there's no stickiness. That's when you know it's fully dry. You can go ahead and begin painting on your surface. Um, what I, you guys can go ahead and do um, whatever idea you have in mind, but if you would like to follow what I'm doing, um, you can go ahead and do so. What I'm going to be painting is um, an underwater silhouette um, with, uh, jellyfish and um, sea anemones and all of that <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take this brilliant blue and you can get whatever color that's close to that and I'm 
just going to spread it here. If you have the kind that's in the bottle, you're going to go ahead and shake it up. I'm going to take my flat head brush and some water and dry it right here. Take this. I'm just going to spread it like so. And because we put the Mod Podge before painting directly on the Hydro Flask, the paint is able to stick to the Hydro Flask and not um, completely fall off or slide off or drip. See how it's like sticking to the surface? It's because we prepped it with Mod Podge. Um, you can save the logo, you can keep the logo on if you would like. I personally like to take it off or paint over it, so that's what I'm doing. But you can leave like a little circle or a square showing that logo. Shade of blue, apparently, it says I'm taking that and I'm putting some right here onto my plate that acts as a palette. What I'm going to do is just going to mix these two colors together, I'm going to blend it. So I'm just going back and forth, up and down, like so. And you see how it's making like a gradient. So you start here and you work your way up. Now I'm going to take some black right here. And I'm going to put it onto my palette. See how I still have a little leftover paint? I'm going to mix the blue paint, the light blue paint with the black and the darker blue so we get this kind of color. And I'm going to take it like so, hold it by the lip, and I'm going back and forth. If we were to use watercolor paints or oil-based paint this might not work as well because it's not going to cling to the Mod Podge as well as acrylic can so that's why it's important for you to check what kind of paint you're using um, now we're going to clean our paintbrush that we just used pointy brush, pointy rounded brush, and we're going to use black, and we're going to set this here, okay, now we're going to make the ocean, we're just going to dab our paintbrush, a tip of your paintbrush with the black paint. We're just going to make an ocean float right here. I'm making it like this. So if any of you have ever gone diving and have seen um, the coral reef, it kind of looks like little mountains with sea plants on them. We're just making a silhouette of that. And if you want it to be more, I guess, um, opaque, so more solid color, 
Um, you're gonna have to wait for this first layer, uh, layer of paint to dry before adding on another layer so that it doesn't mix in, so that this color doesn't mix in with the color that's on the back. Um, but because I like it to be a little translucent, I don't know if you can see, but you can see a little bit of the color bleeding through or mixing through with the black. Um, I kind of like that because that's my type of aesthetic. I am painting um, directly over the first layer of paint while it's still a little wet. But it's totally up to you. You can wait for it to dry. You can wait for the first layer to dry or you can be like me and have it a little translucent. This is what I have so far, so I'm going to do a little spin. Now I'm going to be painting uh, the little sea life that's um, usually seen in the ocean floor. Um, so we're going to draw a bunch of coral. Um, you're not going to want to use a brush that is thick, so what we're going to do is we're going to clean this brush up. this aside and we're going to use a paintbrush that's a little more like a pencil we're going to use this brush i dip this in black paint you're not going to want to have too much paint on there so you can do what i'm doing and if there's too much paint for example, like this, it's a little too much paint. We're gonna just grab it onto here like this. Just take off any extra paint. And we are going to paint some coral. So coral is just basically just a bunch of squiggly lines. So here's my first squiggly line. So, so I'm just going to lean in and sort of show you what I am doing. I'm just painting a bunch of squiggly lines. So this is how your hydro flask is going to look like. After you let it dry, you're going to just put on another layer of Mod Podge to seal the paint and let that dry. Um, so while you're waiting for your paint to dry, you can pause the video or skip forward and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. And now that your paint has dried, you can tell my, um, that it's dry by tapping it there are the red spots. So you're going to take your Mod Podge and you're going to take a flat head brush that you used in the beginning and you are just going to paint a layer of Mod Podge to seal it and it's going to look a little, it's going to look white like this 
but it does dry clear, so don't worry about that. And you're gonna put a thin, just straight down. And when it dries, it should dry clear. So that's done, please close your Mod Podge properly so it doesn't dry out. You're gonna clean your paintbrush that you just used with the Mod Podge water in the beginning. And now all you have to do is just wait for the Mod Podge to dry. Um, you can skip forward or you can pause right here. Okay, now that you're done, um, you're going to look at your hydroflask and it's dried completely clear. If you feel that there's no sticky spots, it should be fine. You can go ahead and take off your painter's tape. And this is what I have. And I'm going to show you how it looks like with lid on so this is how it looks like the final product it went from white to a black light blue gradient of the ocean floor with the sea animals and it's going to be a gift to my sister who loves jellyfish um, you can go ahead and use your hydro flask that you painted for yourself or you can give it as a gift um and you can repeat this project again on another hydro flask if you want um and yeah now you know how to prep a painting surface that isn't a canvas just remember to use my podge and let it dry and seal the paint again with another layer of my podge okay uh thanks for watching and being a part of our after school all-stars hawaii if you're joining us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Please also follow us at All Stars Hawaii on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to connect with us. We hope you share this video and leave us a comment about what you liked and what you want to see next. My name is Miss Angel and I will see you next time. Bye!